On April 28, 2025, the entire electrical grid of Spain and Portugal, as well as parts of southern France, suffered a massive blackout. It affected roughly 50 million people, and it took around 20 hours until it was fully restored. Here is three things we've learned from that. First, the reason for this failure was the large percentage of wind and solar energy in the Spanish grid. The actual trigger might have been something else, like an unusual weather event or a random fluctuation spike. But the reason why this caused a blackout was the instability of the grid due to wind and solar. Secondly, one underappreciated factor of grid stability is rotational inertia. Which basically just means heavy masses that are rotating, i.e. generator turbines. This supplies a powerful mechanical driving frequency for the grid's electrical frequency and a resistance to change. If you remove too many power stations with large turbines, you reduce the system's rotational inertia. And that's exactly what happened to Spain over the last few decades. Note that wind turbines do not provide this rotational inertia because they do not rotate with a stable and controllable frequency, but however fast the wind is blowing. Third, once the grid is down, it must be gradually and slowly restored in a process called black start. And again, this is where wind and solar are mostly useless because their power output depends only on wind and sun and can neither be controlled nor regulated. The best power sources for Black Start are hydropower and gas turbines, because they require almost no electricity to start and their output can be adjusted very well. And that's why mainly those were used to re-establish the grid in Spain. Okay, to be extra clear, none of this means that renewables are bad or hopeless or anything, even though some bad faith actors will claim exactly that. But what it does mean is that renewables do have real drawbacks and we cannot afford to turn a blind eye to those, out of just ideological reasons. We cannot ignore real problems with things just because we like them and just because if we admit those problems it might benefit the wrong people. Grid instability due to solar and wind is a real problem and requires a real solution. Otherwise, it might be way worse the next time.